Hey Scorpios, I'm back y'all with the video for you guys for July the 1st through the 15th. All right, so this is a general read. It may or may not resonate. Take what applies and leave the rest. All right, so Scorpio. Who's giving me a message for Scorpio? Ooh, all right so we got i knew exactly what i was doing i bury myself in work to forget you i love you unconditionally Ooh, somebody feels like you're leaving them behind or vice versa Somebody that maybe you want to be more than friends with, or they want to be more than friends with you. Interesting. All right, so let's pull from the Romance Angels. Let's see what we got going on. Wait a minute. Before the Romance Angels, let's, let's do the Kipper. Give me a message for Scorpios, please, for July. Wealthy man, courthouse, and pathway. Okay. Oh, we got mature woman could be someone older, a mother, a grandmother, just someone older here. Someone here could be in communication with a female here. We got main female. Someone who's been, someone that you've been in a connection with, or this is you, you're the main female, or take it how it resonates. But somebody has a connection here, someone who they possibly like just been sleeping with, or there's a connection here. Maybe there was an ending, okay? Yeah, coffee. There was an ending. All right, so there's a need to make some type of decision. You got distant horizon. Maybe you are at a distance from this person or you feel distant from this person. Somebody here was expecting to get married. We got expectation in marriage and privileged lady. Somebody here is expecting a marriage. Somebody invested is investing a lot. Somebody here put in a lot of money, um, time, effort in a situation. Somebody was helping somebody. We got poverty here. Somebody was helping somebody financially. They're expecting um, expecting more out of the situation. Oh, let's find out. Tell me more. What's going on with Scorpios? Let your friends help you. True love. Romantic feelings. Mm. I'm getting... Maybe you met this person through a mutual friend. Somebody here fell in love. Like It was like love at first sight type of energy. Maybe there is an engagement. Or maybe, I'm telling you, somebody is expecting to get married. Um, somebody wants a higher level of commitment. Could be you or the other person that you're dealing with. Somebody wants a higher level of, of commitment. 
But then we got somebody disconnecting. Retreat. Maybe the other person feels like, hey, let's get to know each other a little bit more. You know, maybe somebody feels like somebody is moving too fast. Yeah. But see, like I said, somebody here is still like planning a wedding. We got wedding and honeymoon and engagement here. Maybe this person could live at a distance. Give me one more card. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. This could be an ex. Or you just, this, this relationship, the chemistry is just so, so strong. It's like, we had to know each other in another life. We had to be together in another life. Somebody may flirt a lot. Somebody may be real, real flirty that could uh, cause issues in the connection. But somebody is feeling like somebody could be the one. Somebody could have, you could have children with this person. But I'm getting somebody definitely wants a higher level of commitment. For sure. But I'm getting like somebody definitely wants to be more than friends. Somebody wants to take things to the next level. For sure. Somebody wants more. Yeah, this person, somebody that you're dealing with, or this is your energy, I'm getting soulmate energy. Like, <laughs> like you guys are soulmates. This person gets really emotional um, about this topic. I'm getting like somebody wants to take things to the next level. Somebody wants to take things to the next level. We got some stalking going on. Yeah. This person could be stalking you on social media. But this person definitely, I feel like this is your person's energy. They feel like you guys are soulmates. <laughs> this person says, I hate nothing about you. Like, this person appreciates everything that you do. Maybe on the internet, there's pictures that are being posted. You see Ego here. We got camera. Maybe you guys have been posting pictures and they've just been stalking, watching your pictures. Um, they hate nothing about you. Like, they admire you i feel like this is your person's energy for sure they want to take things to the next level they're ready to get this thing going they feel like you're really playful and fun to be around and they're extremely attached and it could be because you have a family with this person okay maybe you guys do a do a lot of traveling okay i'm getting distant I'm getting maybe you're distant from this person. Maybe this person lives at a distance. Um, but or there's some type of disconnect at this time. And they get lonely. They get lonely without you. They desire you. <laughs> yeah, this person is really, really into you. Whoever you're dealing with, they're really, really into you. Like they love you. For sure, for sure. There's no doubt about it. That this person is like head over heels for you. Okay, so now it's starting to make sense. Tell me what's going on with the Scorpio. What message do you have for Scorpio? What message do you have for Scorpio? Chariot. The Hermit. Five of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. I see you guys trying to move forward. Trying to make progress. I'm getting an apology as well. Someone coming in with an apology, or you could be apologizing to someone. 
um, to move forward, move this connection forward. We got the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Swords. The Sun, and the Ace of Cups, that's the outcome. All right, we got you guys' as the energy here at the bottom of the deck. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with another water sign. We got the Eight of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Page of Cups. Maybe someone is thinking that you're being flirty, but you're not. <laughs> I'm getting just really playful energy. Like, it's just like, you know, I just be playing. I just be playing. You know, it's not to be taken that serious. But I told you somebody wants a higher level of commitment. Somebody wants to be married. Somebody wants to take things to the next level with you. But they feel like maybe you're flirty. Or they feel like you are, like, inconsistent. Like, um... Like, you're serious one minute and then you're playful the next. Somebody feels like, I feel like this could be you. Maybe you feel like you need to make some changes. Or maybe they're asking you to make some changes. Okay, because this is what they want with you. Okay, this is what they want with you. Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. They want to go all the way. And they want this thing to be balanced. Okay. They want a balanced connection. Hmm. All right, so I do see a little bit of jealousy here. <laughs> Why is the Five of Swords here? Tell me about the Five of Swords. The moon, like I said, I'm telling you. There's a bit of jealousy here. Um... <laughs> somebody is a little envious I feel like this is somebody jealous of you okay and I don't feel like you care about it you're like so <laughs> it's not my problem <laughs> I feel like you're moving forward you could be dealing with the cancer a Virgo a Taurus Ace of Wands yeah Somebody could have possibly just got, you guys could have just got a new car. Um, or you're headed towards something new, a new beginning, a new start. Okay. And somebody is jealous. Somebody's jealous. <laughs> Ten of swords. Three of wands. You turned your back possibly on someone. Or someone turned their back on you. And now you're on the up and up, and it's like they're jealous. Could be a Queen of Swords, Libra Gemini Aquarius. Somebody's trying to block somebody. Hmm. We got the Hermit here. It's like, yeah, you see me. <laughs> you see it. Look at you. Yeah, flexing. <laughs> Y'all big flexing, okay? King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Like, you're admired, okay? You're doing something great. You're being admired. You may have secret admirers. Um, and people hating. People just hating. Could be a Virgo towards Capricorn that you're around. Or the people that are just looking at you kind of like with the side eye. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or a Virgo. But I'm getting like y'all looking scrum dilly umptious, okay? <laughs> and people got their eye on you. Yeah, it's like you're just out here trying to do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, look, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm, I'm just out here leveling up. I don't care who gets mad, who, who don't like it. It is what it is. It is what it is at this point. Yeah, see, you got a lot of attention on you. Okay? You're being watched. You're being admired. You did something you got some recognition for. Okay? People are contacting you, reaching out to you, leaving you messages, flirting. 
And this could have someone that you're dealing with kind of like this energy. Knight of Swords, like, what? Hold on now. <laughs> but y'all got to influ... Like, there's a lot of um, messages coming in. Okay? A lot of people who got their eye on you. Now, moving forward, we got the Five of Cups. There's competition. Okay? There's competition with this Five of Wands. And you're just sailing along like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, okay, I see you, but you ain't me. You ain't doing it like me. <laughs> I'm loving the confidence on me. I'm loving it. Yeah. And see, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of playful energy. Like, this is entertainment for you. This is entertainment for you. Okay. Somebody could have, there could be rumors going around that there's some cheating going on. I don't know you guys' the situation. Y'all got to let me know what's going on in the comment section. But I am getting rumors. I'm hearing rumors, okay? Rumors. There's some rumors going on. People saying, oh, I heard, oh, I know about, you know, somebody having some options or somebody's doing some sneaky stuff, a lot of uh, inconsistency, a lot of competition going on. But I'm seeing you. I feel like... Why's the Queen of Wands here? Leo Sagittarius Aries could be involved. Okay, and Temperance could be a Sagittarius. I feel like you're tired of explaining yourself. I feel like you've just, you have these boundaries set up for yourself and your life, okay? That you take really serious. And I feel like it's just like I can't help it that I'm this fine. I can't help it that I'm this sexy. I can't help that this is what I got going on. What y'all want me to do? What you want me to do? Mm -hmm. What y'all want me to do? So, I feel like somebody that you're dealing with is, could be, you know, have a little jealous streak. But they're still hanging on to the relationship. They're still hanging on to the connection. Um, this person could be, like, extremely toxic. Could be a, a Capricorn. Um, but I'm getting... Like, you guys are just, ext I'm hearing extreme, extremely sexy. Extremely high levels of, like, sexiness going on in here right now. <laughs> and your person over here may be feeling like, is this relationship ending? Are we ending this connection? You know, because I've been waiting. I'm waiting for, you know, this, this energy to pass. But, yeah. Maybe you posted a picture or you did something that shocked this person and maybe it got a lot of attention and they're over here watching with the mad face. Like, feel threatened that they're, that you guys' connection is going to end. <laughs> they're afraid that this connection is going to end, okay? This person has a lot of love for you, Queen of Cups. All right, they're just surprised at, you know, like other opportunities, things coming towards you. You know, like they're just kind of like shook. I told you, nine of swords. They're over here stressing out like a little worried. Like they're gonna try to take my Scorpio away. That's not gonna happen. This person wants you all to themselves. Okay. Now we got the sun here. Ooh, and the empress. This is in your hopes and fears, okay? This could be definitely a pregnancy, all right? This person may want to get you pregnant <laughs> or, you, or you're ready to be, um, to get pregnant. There's a, a aura, a beautiful aura though. This is very beautiful energy, like just a lot of happiness and a lot of smiles and like a birth, a new beginning, a, a something growing, okay? 
We got the Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Swords. You like, baby, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere, baby. I ain't going nowhere. But I feel like y'all do got um, some love messages, some love notes, people coming at you. But I feel like you you feel like, you know, I got I got who I got. I got who I got, baby. <laughs> Could be dealing with the Gemini here. Yeah, see, you like, I ain't going nowhere. I'm here. We're going to ride this out. We're going to ride this out. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> but you got this person over here shook, okay? You got this person over here shook. They shook. Like, I don't want you to go nowhere. Look, look what you're doing. You're playing with me. You're playing with me. you like, baby, look, I can't help that I'm this fine. <laughs> I can't help that I look this good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So tell me more about Scorpio. Tell me more about Scorpio. Tell me more about Scorpio. Spiritual lesson. Time apart. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of getting that some of you are at a distance from the from your person. Um, maybe you're trying to teach this person a lesson. <laughs> All right, because I keep getting a spiritual lesson. Lesson. A lesson is being learned here. Okay, that time apart. You know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> Maybe you guys have been posting or they're seeing or hearing about other people that's wanting to be around you. You're getting, uh, you're definitely getting recognition for something. But the thing about this connection is it's faded, okay? This is a destined partnership, okay? This person goes hard for you. You go hard for this person. Y'all very supportive of each other. But I do feel like, you know, absence may, makes the heart grow fonder for sure. Yeah, maybe you guys have some obstacles, okay? And we got passion, leap of faith, boundaries, okay? And I'm getting there may have been some obstacles in this connection. Maybe some insecurities. But yeah, see, somebody's vulnerable and somebody wants to spend time, okay? Somebody's feeling real, real vulnerable. They want to spend time, you know, they want to work on trust, you know, that chemistry that you guys have. All right, so I'm getting, I'm definitely getting, I'm getting that. For some of you, this could be an ex that wants to come back in um, because I just saw um, past life love. But absence definitely makes the heart grow fonder for sure because this person is like, yeah, I want that. <laughs> kind of jealous because they see you over here, over here looking good. When does this person want to say this word? To my skirts. I really miss you. My heart hurts. I miss you, baby. <laughs> I miss you, boo-boo. I do listen to, to what you say and try to find a solution within myself. <laughs> Give me one more card. I see signs about you everywhere. And then we got, let me take the lead. All right, so these are the messages that I have for you guys. I hope this message was helpful. Um, if this message did resonate with you, great. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you are new. Also, guys, you can check out my website. All right, I got a lot of goodies over there for you guys. You can get 20% off your entire order by using code SALE20, S-A-L-E-20 at checkout. Um, and if you're interested in booking a personal, guys, that information on how to contact me for a personal is in the drop box below as well. All right, until next time, guys. Ciao.